What's up guys? Welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to review rational functions. How do we solve a problem that looks like number one? The first thing we need to do is to analyze if there is something we can factor. The denominator is a trinomial. So we can factor this um, polynomial by identifying a, b, and c. So our c value is negative 6. Our b value is negative 1. So factors of negative 6 and negative 1, that should be negative 3 times 2. Adding this 2 together, negative 3 plus 2, that gives us negative 1, which is our b value. All right. Let us write the factored form b minus 3 over b minus 3 and b plus 2. So remember, we got these two numbers, minus 3, minus 3, and the plus 2 in the factors that we found. So if you take a look at what we got right now, we have um, an expression on the numerator that's exactly the same as denominator. So therefore, we can cancel those two out. And that would leave us with 1 as the numerator over b plus 2. Since our denominator has a, um, has a variable, so we are going to include the excluded value. And so excluded value in this case is that b cannot be equal to negative 2. Why? Because if we substitute a negative 2 to b, that will make the denominator equal to 0, which makes the whole rational undefined or does not exist. Let's try this type of problem. So this problem is, a, um, is complex. Why? Because we're given with trinomials where a is greater than 1. So we are going to factor each of these trinomials. So I am going to use split the middle. First, we're going to multiply a times c. And that would be 5 times 3, which would be 15. And then b is negative 16. So we're looking for factors of 15, wherein when we add these two numbers, it will give us negative 16. So that should be negative 15 times negative 1. So negative 15 plus negative 1 is negative 16, which gives us the b value. Okay, so um, let's solve b. 5b squared minus 15b plus b plus 3. So I am using split the middle. So we are literally split negative 16 into this two right here. Oh, um, this, there, this sh should be a minus sign. Okay, now because we have four uh, four terms, so we are going to um, factor this by grouping. Factor the first two terms, and then I mean, group the first two terms and group group the last three, third and fourth term. So, and now we are going to factor out the GCF. We have five B, and we are left with B minus three. And then factor out negative 1 for the second group. And we will have our remainder as b minus 3. Now, our final answer would be 5 minus 1. And then our common factor, which is b minus 3. So this is the factored form of the numerator. We're going to write this in the numerator. So 5b minus 1 times b minus 3. Now, we are going to do the same thing in the denominator. So the denominator is um, b, 7b squared minus 16b minus 15. So we're going to factor this um, 
So we multiply ne uh, 7 times negative 15. That should give us um, negative 1 or A times C. That's negative 105. And our B is negative 16. We'll find factors that will give us um, the uh, equal to negative 105. That should be 5 times negative 21. And when we add negative 21 plus 5, that should be negative 16. So let's start simplifying B squared and split the middle. We'll use negative 21B and then plus 5B. We're literally splitting the middle. We drop the last term, minus 15. And now we're going to group the first two terms and the last two terms. Take out the GCF, 7B, and we are left with B minus 3. And then we're going to take out the GCF of the second group, that would be 5, and that's positive, so plus 5, we're left with B minus 3. And our factored form will be 7B plus 5 and B minus 3. So this is the factored form of the denominator. And we're going to be writing this in here. So over, um, that was 7B plus 5 times b minus 3. All right, so if you have noticed, we have um, a common factor, and I mean common, um, yeah, common factor, and that is b minus 3, and so we can cancel this two out, and so when we cancel that, we are left with 5 minus b, 5b minus 1, I mean, over 7b plus 5. Now, our denominator contains a variable. So we are going to isolate b by itself to get the excluded value. We want to know what the excluded value is. So what value of b that b cannot be, you, uh, that b should not be plugged into um, to the uh, denominator. So. Let's try taking that denominator, 7b plus 5 equals 0, isolate b. So we'll have 7b equals negative 5. And so b should not be equal to negative 5 over 7. And this is our final answer. Let's try another problem. How about this problem right here? We're asked to simplify this expression. So we will cancel if there is something that we can cancel in the numerator and denominator. So I am looking at 3 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator. That gets canceled. And then the m, we can cancel the m, but then the m in the denominator will have m to the third because we already took out one of the m's. There's nothing else we can cancel. We can cross, I mean, uh, multiply across. So 3 over 13 m to the third power. So with, uh, with this, because our denominator contains a variable, we need to write the excluded value. And excluded value m should not be equal to 0. Because when m is 0, it makes the denominator 0. Let's try another problem. This time we are asked to divide the, exp uh, the rational expression. Okay, So let's remember that when we are given with uh, this type of problem, we will be using um, keep, keep the first fraction, change the operation to multiplication, 
and we flip the second fraction. Okay, so um, let's try and do that. So uh, a x minus eight over a x squared times. So as we do this, we are going to simplify because we can simplify and take out uh, GCF of the denominator 8x cubed plus 24x squared. So common factor of these two expressions is 8x squared. We'll take out 8x 8 8 squared and we are left with x plus 3. So let's write uh, 8x squared quantity x plus 3 all over 1. So if you take a look at closely, we have 8x squared in the denominator and an 8x squared in the numerator. So if we have something like this, you know what to do. We can cancel this two out. So we'll cancel this and this. And we are left with the numerators which is x minus 8 and x plus 3. And that is our answer. Let us try and solve this problem. Okay, If you notice that the denominators are exactly the same, we do not need to change anything. So. We can just combine these two together right away. Write the common denominator. And then we drop our first numerator. And notice that our uh, numerator of the second rational is a binomial. So there will be a change in the operations because it is the operation is a minus sign. So we'll have minus 6x and a minus 4. And let's combine like terms. This will give us negative 5x plus 2. And we're going to bring over 12x to the third plus 24x squared. You might be asking, um, can we not take out any GCF in the denominator? Yes, we can. And we are going to do that right now. So we're going to take out the GCF of 12x squared. So that would be that would be um, 6x squared. And that will leave us with 2x plus 4 um plus four but notice we still have something in common which is two so if i take out two that will make if i take out two i'm gonna multiply that two over here so that will make 12 x squared and that would leave me with um x plus two so when i distribute 12 x squared to x that will give us 12 x squared i mean 12 x cubed and then if we distribute this back, that will give us 24x squared. Okay, well, there's our factored form denominator, which is 12x squared, quantity x plus 2. And there's our final answer. All right, guys, we are going to continue this with a second video. It seems this is a long one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.